And we're back, Mike Cernovich with an in-your-face, low-quality periscope, just to talk about something interesting. You know, one of my pet peeves is when I, actually what triggers me, is when I point out something interesting, and then people go, oh, well, that's a good thing or a bad thing. Look, we're talking about the energy shift. So the low consciousness comments, is it good, is it bad? You're not thinking if you're, if you're saying these things, you just have to perceive. So I'm going to show you a video that no one could have predicted. Wasn't the intent of this administration to do a lot of good for us. But the nature of this administration is good for us. Because now, you know, sometimes you think you're where you are not. And so Trump is letting you know where you really stand or... Oh. And because of Trump's way, he is an anomaly. There's never been no president quite like Mr. Trump. So keep in mind, uh, Louis Farrakhan is 85. You'd never guess it. I didn't realize it until I, until I looked him up. And you just admit that that's when I say that Trump is a once in a lifetime talent, even if you're 85. And that's why. You know, stupid people in the media, they just don't understand. This is Louis Farrakhan here. I mean, do you not understand how big this is? Again, we know Louis Farrakhan has said some anti-Semitic things. I'm not here to defend Louis Farrakhan. That's not my job. I'm just saying this is pretty mind-blowing. Again, I'm not endorsing it. I'm not, you know, Farrakhan has issues. I'm not doing anything of it. I'm just saying... This is not the kind of thing that you would have ever expected. And to me, that's what makes it interesting. President, quite like Mr. Trump. But there's something that he's doing. I'm going to come out in a few weeks and talk about it. But Trump is destroying every enemy that was an enemy of our rise. Oh. Who's the enemy of our rise? Is it? The Department of Justice, where we get none? Is it Congress, where you make a law that favors us and then you turn around and destroy it? Is it the media that has destroyed every black leader that stood up for us, calling us out of our name? Martin Luther King suffered it, Malcolm suffered it, Dubois suffered it, Marcus Garvey suffered it. So he's attacking the media, calls it fake news. Well, I don't think everything is fake, but I know, I, I know very well right. that we have been the victims of yeah. some fake news. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm oh, again, again, I don't want to hear Louis Farrakhan this year. Yeah, I know I've, I've, I've criticized Louis Farrakhan in the past, but I'm just telling you when I noticed that energy shift, remember I told everybody I felt this like profound shift in the energy and it's changed the way that I interact with the world. People are like, oh, Cernovich is trying to sanitize his image and this and that. No, no, I'm not trying to go mainstream, but I just, I felt this shift. And I told you that you're going to see things happen that you never could have imagined happen. That's what I mean when I talk about the shift. Who, who could have predicted Louis Farrakhan coming out and praising Trump? Who could have ever seen that coming? Well... Us, we, we, you know, this is for us, not, this is for us, not a surprise. Beating up the FBI. Go at it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, again, this is Louis Farrakhan praising Donald Trump. Again, you know, Farrakhan has his issues, you know. I'm just saying this is of a historical magnitude, what we're witnessing here. The energy shift is real. Calling us out of our name. Martin Luther King suffered it. Where Malcolm I? suffered it. Dubois suffered it. Marcus Garvey suffered it. So he's attacking the media. Calls it fake news. Well, I don't think everything is fake news. But I, know, I, I know very well right? that we have been the victims of some fake news. Yes. <laughs> he's beating up the FBI. 
Go at it, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they've been beating the hell out of us yeah, ever yeah. since J. Edgar Hoover and the counterintelligence program of the U.S. Look how government. excited, too. And so go ahead. And look, that's the thing. Look how excited, you know, Farrakhan is talking about Trump. And also, remember when I told a bunch of you people we gotta we gotta stand up with with the with the legitimate concerns of black lives matter we have to stand up for that i've been telling people that people go oh cernovich what are you saying nfl players should be able to kneel what about this what about i'm telling you because th there is an opportunity an opportunity for us to come together on issues not all issues not all issues but on some issues there's an opportunity for people to come together and these are the kind of alliances that get formed in a historical time where, you know, you now have Louis Farrakhan, sympathy for the devil, praising Donald Trump. So don't be, don't, and by the way, know that, the, know that Black Lives Matter has been taken over by people who want division. I'm talking about the real people who want real solutions. I'm talking about the people who want actual solutions and are willing to sit down and talk. This is this is historical what you're watching right now. This is an amazing energy shift. Happy Memorial Day, everyone.